This is Hunter, and today I'll be talking about the Takao to Hozukyo hike. Prepare to be swept away by the breathtaking natural beauty of Takao, nestled in the majestic mountains of Kyoto near Osaka, with stunning vistas, verdant hiking trails, and ancient temples steeped in history. This hidden gem is a must visit destination. Let's go take a look. So this is pretty much the start of the walk, just down those steps there. But look at this for the start of the walk. We kind of start off with this little hut here. I mean, even that's just nice to start with. But straight away, you're into this calming river. So I'm here in spring at the moment. And look at this river. This is the start point. It's not like, you know, you've had to walk for hours and hours to get to something nice it's just bang just straight into this this is going to be amazing if the walks all along this river and i reckon it is just how amazing that's going to be oh you've got to love japan starts off with this red bridge red bridge over the river i always love this you can see in the distance there so those kind of roofs just nestling away in the trees Look at the trees as well. It's so fresh. The air is incredibly fresh. I'm actually doing my lungs some favors here. Awesome. Can't wait to follow this all the way down. So from memory, I think it's going to be about eight kilometers, this particular hike. So nothing too arduous. So after that red bridge, we're going to go up these stairs. So there's quite a few temples to see in this area. Of course, always lots of temples. So I think this is going to lead up to one here. Oh. Wow, look at those stairs. These are steep. Maybe it is going to be more arduous than I thought. <laughs> so, I've only just started this walk. I'm about three or four minutes in, and I'm tired and out of breath already. <laughs> so, that must mean there's something stunning at the top of these stairs. There's a whole bunch of shrines on the way. Feel free to stop off. I think a lot of them you have to pay for. That's fine if you've got the time. Um, I'm just kind of interested in the walk today. Let's just have a quick peek through the gate. I have to say it does look nice through there. It's not the usual, you know, just a little square with some concrete or even stones. It's a full on area with trees, as you can see. A lot of places to walk in there, but there's plenty of places to walk out here as well. So this is, uh, 600 yen to get into. One of the things I always love about Japan is this, I don't know what to call it, like grass or moss. Each one of these has been individually cut by scissors or something. It's so smart, so neat. So I reckon it's well worth going into those temples if you had the time and money. But for me, I'm just gonna stick out here carry along the normal trail. Look at these cedar trees. So the best time to be here apparently is autumn. I am here spring and this see in front of me would be or will be a tunnel of pretty colors, whites, pinks, purples. It's gonna be absolutely lovely. So I'm just here about two weeks too early. I've got a feeling everything's gonna bloom on the day I leave. If you remember my last video where I was going through those stunning red torii gates, there was that little sign that said, beware of monkeys, bears, and actually I saw later boars as well. So that was there, obviously we didn't see any. However, apparently the chances of seeing monkeys are quite high along this walk. Dear ChatGPT, what do I do if I see a hissing monkey in front of me? Maybe tell it a joke. Let me go down here to the river's edge. Can't go in. There's a security. There's no way I can get through this security. And we're through security, we're past. Alarms are going off. Look at this pretty bridge. Oh, so pretty. This is why you come to Japan for things like this. It's so pretty. Let's go across that bridge. Actually, it's probably just going into someone's house. What's that sign say? 
uh, this is my private house, do not come in, you'll be shot if I see you. Let's go. Pretty bridge. It's a wobbly bridge. <laughs> I was there in London that day, the bridge opened, the wobbly bridge, and I went on the bridge and it was wobbly. Look at that river. Stunning. Mmm, the smell, it's uh, its some kind of paint, but, but you know, like fresh wood. I think I might have just gone in someone's house. I'm nervous. Oh, and there's someone coming down. Uh, maybe this is someone's house. Uh, where did you work? <laughs> All right, I didn't get shot, so maybe it's not someone's house. Maybe really look at that. Always cute stuff here. I caught a fish and it was this big. I find this stuff fascinating, so calming. I could probably go and sit on that rock down there. Just kind of look at the water, look at the, what is that? It's like, there's probably a technical name for that, like the stairs with the water in it. I'll probably sit there all day. I'm hoping that we can get down to that river. Look at that, I like that, it goes down the stairs. And there's even like a swishy bit at the end. I want to kayak down that. Look at these like mini cedar trees. Oh, they're so cute, kawaii. Everything's cute in Japan. Oh. And there's the cliff. It's like in the movies, isn't it? The hero is running through the greenery and suddenly they're at a cliff top and then they fall down there and they land in a a river which is about three inches deep and then they swim and live. This is nature's most spectacular show, Taco's Foliage. Renowned as one of the most stunning displays of colors in Japan, Tako is a paradise for leaf peepers seeking breathtaking vistas. It might be difficult to believe, but you can actually go kayaking and water rafting down here. Basically what happens is this river rapidly fills up when they empty out the dam. In fact, there's signs all along here warning about that, that it's gonna really rise very quickly. And then you go kayaking like a speed demon that you are. So sadly, I'm just gonna have to abort the walk at this point. It's getting a little bit dark. And uh, Jinky, you might have seen in the distance there, she's damaged her leg recently, so she's walking along with a, a walking stick so she couldn't walk too far. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed what you did see. Obviously, beautiful river, the cedar trees, a little bit of the shrine going on there. If we'd kept going, we'd have seen this amazing waterfall. I think it's called Koya Waterfall, so that's what I really wanted to see. But hey, I didn't manage to finish the walk, but that does give me yet another good reason to come back to Japan in the future. See you. I was there in London the day that bridge opened, the wobbly, wobbly. It will be. I didn't get that. Could you try again? Good on you, Siri. These ancient temples offer a glimpse into Japan's rich cult. This is nature's most spectacular show, Taco's Autumn. It's not autumn. <laughs>